All right, so we're going to talk about steps for subtracting mixed numbers. So step one, I'm always going to draw a model. Step two, I'm going to subtract the fraction. Step three, I'm going to subtract the whole number. So let's look at an example. So I have 13 and 2 and 1 half. So my first step is I'm going to draw my model. So I'm going to draw 13 holes. So I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? So these are my 13 holes. I'm subtracting 2 and 1 half. So again, I'm not going to subtract my whole number. I'm always going to start with subtract my fraction first. Okay? So my fraction is 1 half. So I, if I look here, I just have 13 holes. So what do I need to do with one of those? I need to break one of those in half to be able to subtract a half. So I'm going to break this one in half, right? I could break all of them in halves, and it would still be the same. Because remember, this is the same as two halves, right? So I'm going to subtract one of those halves, right? One half. I'm going to cross that off, and how much do I have left? I have left one half, because I'm really saying two halves minus one half, which is going to give me one half left. So that's how I get my one half. Now I can subtract my whole number, and my whole number I'm subtracting is two. So I'm going to cross off two holes, okay? So now I know that I have left, I have one half, but let's look again, let's see how many holes I have left. So let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten and one half. That's my answer. Okay, again though, I want to remind you of the steps. The steps are going to be, I'm going to draw, I'm um, step one, draw my model. Step two, subtract my fraction. Step three, subtract the whole number. So if you subtracted this, if I said 13 minus 2, and I did it the wrong way of subtracting my whole number first, I would have 11. And then if I just said, oh, well, I don't have a half to subtract here, so I'm just going to put 11 and 1 half. 11 and 1 half is not the same as 10 and 1 half. So I would have made a mistake if I did it that way. So remember, always draw your model, subtract your fraction, then subtract your whole number. All right, let's look at another example. I have 18 minus 14 and 6 eighths. So again, I'm going to draw my model. So how many whole numbers am I drawing? 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now I have my 18 holes, okay? So my step two, remember, is going to be subtract my fraction. So I'm going to subtract 6 eighths, but are any of these broken up into eighths? Well, no, because they're all broken up into whole numbers. So I need to take one of these and break it up into eighths. So I'm going to break it up into eight pieces, okay? So now this is broken up into eighths. But now I need to subtract six eighths. Because remember, this is saying eight eighths minus six eighths, okay? Because I took that whole and I broke it up into a fraction, which is eight eighths. Now I'm going to subtract six eighths. So let's cross them off. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many do I have left? If I look here, I only have two eighths left. So I know that my fraction part is going to be two eighths. Now I still don't know yet what my whole number is because I haven't subtracted my whole number. Now I can subtract my whole number because I've subtracted my fraction. So my, I'm going to subtract my whole number. So now I'm going to say 18 minus 14, but I'm going to look here because I don't really have 18. Because remember, I took one and broke it up into eighths. 
So let's count, let's cross off 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So how many do I have left? One, two, three. So my answer is three and two eighths. Now, if I, I'm going to show you how most students wouldn't make a mistake. They're going to say 18 minus 14 is 4. And they're going to be like, well, I can't subtract the fraction, so this must be 6 eighths. I want you to see, is this the same as this? No, it's not. 4 and 6 eighths is not the same as 3 and 2 eighths. So remember, your steps. This goes back to steps. So this would be a no. My steps would be what? Draw my model, subtract my fraction, and then subtract the whole number.